Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. I'm Woody. Howdy, 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 howdy. <laughs> These intros Hello. get weirder and weirder. <laughs> <laughs> Just try to do something different, you know? <laughs> so today is a another Disney video and today is our top 10 things to do at Disneyland Paris that aren't rides. Yes. It's kind of, it's in our little series of yeah, top 10 Disneyland Paris. Yeah, of top 10 Paris. lists, yeah. So we've done a top 10 Disneyland Paris rides, which I'll pop down in the description box. And we've also done a top 10 Disneyland Paris Tamer rides. Yeah, so if you're not a fan of roller coasters, then we've done the Tamer ride list. And then we thought if you don't like rides at all, or if you're just looking for something else to do, we would do a top 10 things to do at Disneyland Paris that aren't that rides. rides. <laughs> this so, was possibly the hardest list we've mm, done so far because there's a lot to a lot. do. There is a lot to do and there's some which we are quite sad that we're missing out mm -hmm. of our top 10 list um, but we would be here all day. If we yeah just you said everything. let's do a top 20. Yeah no. Like, no no we, let's keep it to top 10. <laughs> so should we start? Let's start. Let's do it. So again like our other videos they are in order up until our favourite, which will be number yeah. one. Saving the best till last. But they're all great. They're all good. <laughs> so number 10 is Disney's Art of Animation. And this is based in the Disney Studios. This is a great thing to do if you just want a bit of a time out. Yeah. And you want a bit of a rest if that you've been Disney walking all day. That Disney fiend has been let out. And yeah. has been running from ride to <laughs> ride. You just want to let that Disney fiend rest. simmer down. <laughs> Then go and sit in the art of Disney animation. It's also something to do if it's too hot or too cold as well, because mm -hmm. it's inside. So you go in initially to a room that is kind of the waiting area, but it's full of posters of different Disney animations. And it also has, I'm not sure what it's called, but you look through a little... Viewfinder. Yeah, viewfinder, and you turn a little lever, don't you? Round. Yeah, so you're turning the pages, and it looks like an actual moving image. It's kind of like, did you used to, when you were younger, draw different things and then, then flip, flip the them. paper? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like that, and obviously that's how they, they started off doing animations. So that's really interesting. And then you all get called in, <laughs> like school, <laughs> <laughs> and then you all get brought in to a room. Is it first? Yeah, it's like cinema, cinema first, isn't it? Yeah. And you watch this. Oh, it's lovely. It's this about 10 minute, 10, 15 minute long trip through all, well, most of the Disney films yeah. from the first until, I mean, it's not completely up to date, no. but the more modern ones. It's and a it lovely shows montage. the animation, how it changed. And it also shows like the heart of Disney and the magic of it. It goes through different emotions, doesn't mm. it? So it shows really sad scenes and then shows yeah. the really romantic scenes. and yeah. It's really, yeah. I wish I could like own that little montage. <laughs> could play it whenever you feel a bit down because it's, it's just so beautiful. Yeah. Well, I thought once that had finished, that was it. Yeah, I thought that was it. But no, the doors open and you go through into the third room. And in the third room, you are sitting in rows again and there's a little stage with a cast member and a screen. And they take you through how Mushu from Mulan was created and how he was animated. Yeah. And they have headphones with different languages. And it's, yeah, it's really interesting, actually. Yeah, it's really funny as well because they have... It's very old, though. ...interaction with Mushu. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. It's good. It's really, it's really fun, and it's yeah, interesting to see how a character is created from someone's head to the final, the final film. Yeah, and then when you come out afterwards, you will have seen on our vlogs if you've watched that they have some of the concept drawings for other characters, mm. like the Beast, who looked a bit like Scar in one of them, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, and you can see how they evolve. Characters start off so different mm -hmm. to what they actually become. And you can also, which we've never done, but we've seen people doing, and we've also seen it on other people's vlogs, you can take part in a drawing session where they teach you how to draw yeah. uh, one of the char one of the Disney characters, which looks like... I'd looks love like to fun. do that, wouldn't I? Because mm, I like sketching. Like, yeah. Yeah. So it's really good. It's a lovely little area that you can, you know, spend a good amount of time in. That isn't a ride. Yeah. And we love it. We always try and do it each trip. Mm-hmm. Number nine is the Disney Railroad. 
So if you want to take a bit of a scenic trip around the park. Rest your weary legs. <laughs> yeah, you can hop on the railroad and it'll take you around all the different areas. You can jump off at any point yeah. or you can just do what we sometimes like to do. is just ride it around the around entire trip. park. <laughs> I also think it's a lovely thing to do at the start of your trip, especially if it's your first time, because it gives you a real idea as to where each land is and what each land has in it. Yeah. It's a really good way to see the whole of the park. Yeah. And I really enjoy it. You can just sit back. It's like an old fashioned train. And, and they uh, have things that you won't necessarily yeah. see if you're walking around. They've got like dummies and mannequins yeah. and stuff scattered around, haven't they? It's really good. And you can also use it as a mode of transport as well. So you you, ca- you could literally use it to get from frontier land to discovery land if you wanted, um, if you didn't want to walk. I love doing that. I love the railroad. I always, we didn't manage to get on it last trip, but before that I always... Uh, I think they had a reduced service, yeah. which is a, a frequent London uh, yeah. expression. They had, a, they had a southern train service. <laughs> During the winter, but you'll find that scattered all around the park. Yeah. The different train stations, but there's a one as soon as you come in to yeah. the Disneyland Park. So at number eight is the Aladdin kind of passageway. It has a French name, <laughs> but uh, we just call it the the um, Aladdin Cave. Really. Yeah. This is great. This is kind of like a little hidden gem. I think most people would probably walk past it. But inside they have different models of different scenes of Aladdin and it, it goes in order, doesn't it? Yeah. So the story of Aladdin. And it's, it's really cool, actually, and they move as well, don't they? Yeah. Um, my favourite one is, I think it's, is it Jafar? Who's there with his stick oh, and he's yeah. just going... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> they've got, like, epic ones at the end. The one where the um, genie is going back into the lamp. Yeah, Jafar's going back inside yeah. the lamp, yeah. It's, it's great. Really, good. really well done. And you have music playing as well as you're going around. I mean, you can spend as much time as you want mm. looking at them because there's lots of detail. Yeah. Uh, we, I think the first time, did we go in because we were waiting for our reservation for Agrabah Cafe? Yeah, because it's literally just across the way from there. And then the next time we were waiting for the fireworks, so we then went in. So it's, it's quite a good thing to do if you've maybe got something reserved yeah and you're looking to like 10 minutes to do something yeah i would definitely recommend so you find that in Adventureland. number seven (laughs) we went in here on our last trip and it became one of my favorite things in studios and i didn't think it would be but it was stitch live oh i thought it was fantastic (laughs) Though, so, because you, you go in, I won't say too much about it. You can watch it in English or you can watch it in French. They have different showings. Um, so, depending what language you speak, check um the showing before you go in. Yeah, and then there's a cast member who interacts with Stitch, and then Stitch has a show that revolves around the audience and gets people involved. It's really funny, especially if you get picked out. And as I got the very 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 bad man. I got picked. <laughs> I was just sitting there waiting for it to start and just, you know, just normal face. You always get picked. Normal face. And then, because I wasn't smiling, they picked me out as the very, 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 very bad man. <laughs> I enjoyed it, funny. though. I was happy. Yeah, I'd go in and see it. Yeah, because we gave it a miss the first time we went to Disneyland Paris. Um, but I think it's be- going to become something which we, you know, do each trip. Because yeah. we really enjoyed it. And we've become fans of Stitch haven't we I mean we, we, yeah, we liked we Stitch before but I think now because because I you know because you were picked out I mean. I'm, I'm his pal <laughs> <laughs> and you'll find that in the studios um it's quite near to where they have the Star Wars stage yeah so at number six we're actually being sneaky and putting two together but it is Adventure Isle and also La Cabana de Robinson. This is great. This is in Adventureland. And Adventure Isle is just this huge area which you can explore. It has caves that has like secret passageways in and you can find different things. I won't give it away. Mm -hmm. They've got like rickety bridges that you can walk across. They also have, I think, like a beach area that has playgrounds for young children. 
And then next to Adventure Isle, they have the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse, um, which you can walk right to the top of. And then on each level, it has kind of different scenes, I would say. Yeah, it's, it's how they... Because they get shipwrecked and they land on an island and then they have to try and make things work. So mm. it's how, how they've designed their different rooms with the technology using just what they had on the island. And it re- looks really, really lifelike. Yeah. You feel like you're in some kind of set, like film set. Yeah. And you can walk right up to the top and then, yeah, back down again. And it's really good. It's really fun to just explore and have a little walk around if the weather's nice. It's really good when the sun's shining Mm. to do. You get some great photos. Yeah, yeah, it's a good photo opportunity place. So that is in Adventureland. It is quite near Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Number five, you've got to take a trip to the castle. Yes. There's so many hidden things in that castle that the first time around I think we missed. Um, Well, first time around we found the dragon. Yep. uh, La Ternier du Dragon. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry if I didn't say that right. And uh, yeah, so as you're walking towards the castle, front on, uh, if you go down to the left-hand side, there's this little cave. Go in the cave and then they've got this huge animatronic dragon that... So it, that it sleeps and then when it wakes up, it just moves its head around and it's great to have on camera and great to take yeah. a photo of. It's so impressive that that's just there underneath the castle. It's like a hidden gem. Um, you'd only find it if you were looking for it. Yeah. But I love, we always got to pay the dragon a visit. <laughs> yeah, go. got to go and say hi and disturb him in his slumber. Yeah. But there's also another way to get there. You can go through the... I think it's like the, um, is it the crystal shop that they've got in the castle? Yeah. You can go down the stairs and then get to the dragon. So whereas you've got that in the bottom of the castle, at the top of the castle, this is what we missed the first time round, but did the second time, you've got loads of beautiful stained glass windows to do with Sleep and Beauty. Yeah. You've got tapestry on the walls. Yeah. So much to look at. You've got little models as well. Yeah. Um, and you can also walk out onto kind of like a balcony and you can look out over the whole of Fantasyland. And it's really magical. Like you feel, well, you are, you're in Sleeping Beauty's castle. Yeah. Um, so you feel like a proper prince or princess. Pretend it's yours for a few moments. Yeah. <laughs> no, we love it. We always have to visit the castle Yeah. Now. And inside the castle, you've got the shop where you can get your Christmas gifts. Yes. Which is what we tend to do every time. The shop where it's always Christmas. Yeah. I was going to tell you where the castle is, but it's pretty obvious when you walk in, you're walking down the, the main street. You'll see it. It's just in the centre of Disneyland Park. So at number four is, again, we kind of cheated and we... Because there's too many to choose from. There was one thing we wanted to add on, so we made this the so... same. We put it all together. It is the stage shows... The outdoor shows and also the stunt show. So all mixed together. It's all shows. Shows. (laughs) These are, well, obviously because they're in my top ten, but one of my favourite things at Disneyland Paris. And I feel that Disneyland Paris do really, really good shows. Yeah, they do. Um, So at the moment, Mickey the Magician is on, which is, it's kind of, it's a Broadway show. Um, You feel like you're at the West End or you're on Broadway. And it has... Snippets from The Lion King, Aladdin, um, lots of uh, Frozen, lots of different Disney films. And it's Mickey, like, travelling through each. Um, And it's just amazing. It's got great singing, great dancing, great costumes, great um, kind of magic effects. Um, The theatre is huge. It's in the studios park. And, yeah, it's great. They do different showings each day. I think they've got a poster outside where you can see the times and they also give you a brochure which um, has the times as well or you can also check the app that has the times and yeah if the show is on while you're there yeah don't miss it it's really really good another one that we went to see uh, was at the chaparral theater it was called forest of enchantment which Mm. isn't on anymore they're actually uh they've knocked down the chaparral theater and they're rebuilding it and according to someone who used to be in forest of enchantment (laughs) They're going to be doing The Lion King. I don't think it was announced on Twitter. All oh, right. Okay. Um, well, just a quick story as well. We went to see Forest of Enchantment. I started working uh, somewhere in London. I was chatting to one of the people that worked there, one of the girls. Turns out she's the actual person that was playing 
the storyteller role in Forest of Enchantment. Who on, we filmed. <laughs> who we filmed in our July vlogs of 2017. So weird. <laughs> Such a small world. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small one. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was Forest Enchantment was a great show as well. Lion King will be amazing when it comes. Also the stunt show, which is in the studios mm-hmm. park. It's cars at the moment. I think it's getting changed, I believe. Uh-huh. Um because the cars stunt show has been there for mm-hmm. twenty years, I wanna say, or twenty five years. Yeah. A long time. And it's great. It's like epic, but whatever they create next will be equally as epic. Yeah. And yeah, any shows while you're there, just don't miss them because they are so, so good. Yeah. And they're scattered around all the different parks. And our favourite one, which is there at the moment, Mickey's 25th anniversary outside show. Um, It's on the little stage just outside Sleeping Beauty's Castle and it's so much fun. Main Street, USA. Goofy is amazing in that show. (laughs) Steals it. (laughs) Number three, character meets. They're great to do if you don't want to go on rides for a little bit or you want to take a rest from rides. We haven't met as many characters as we would like to meet. We're not very good at character meets, are we? But we're getting better. We are getting better, but we do get a little bit uh, <laughs> starstruck. <laughs> we don't know what to say to them. I've always had it. Like, what do I say? But we are getting a lot better. You will have witnessed me making some sort of uh, goofy joke or, or laughing because I'm meeting Mickey Mouse or yeah. something like that. But yeah, meeting Mickey Mouse is great. Uh, we've met Darth Vader. That was that was uh, intense. Yeah. I mean, I was <laughs> quite sweaty-palmed about yeah. that one because of the costume. It was quite scary, wasn't it? Yeah. But the more we're doing, the more we enjoy doing the character mm. meets. I think it's what makes Disney so special. Mm-hmm. Being able to interact with all these characters that you've grown up with. Yeah. It's just amazing. And someone in the comments asked if we would do a top 10 character meets, which we think we're going to save until after we come back from Disney World, because we're planning to hopefully meet a lot more characters there. Yes. So that'll be a really fun video to film. We need to be like... Hopefully met loads. One of our viewers who also does uh, Disney vlogs, uh, Simon... He managed to meet. We'll pop his channel below. So many characters when yeah. he was there at Disneyland Paris. I was astonished. I mean, you could <laughs> you could spend your whole day meeting characters. Yeah. And that would be an amazing day. Yeah. Um, you've also got the Princess Pavilion, which we've never done, uh, where you can meet all the princesses. Um, you can meet Mickey Mouse. Also, the characters walk around in Disneyland Paris quite a bit. Yeah. You've also got character breakfast and character lunch, um, Crystal Palace. Yeah. There's so many places that you can meet characters. I would, if you're a bit nervous as well, just try and like push yourself to do it. Yeah, because even if you are nervous, it's it's over. Like you can either have a bit more of an interaction with them, it takes a longer period of time, or you can just go up, grab your photo, and then that's it. So yeah, yeah. it's all good. Number two is the parade. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sensational. We love grabbing our little spot that's near where the parade ends. Oh, yeah. Um, Because we always tend to get a seat or a little space. And it's great seeing all the different characters coming round. They've got a big, huge Toy Story float with Buzz Lightyear at the top waving, which this is always is my favourite. This is the favorite. Uh, 25th anniversary Stars on Parade, which yeah. is the one that was on when we were there. Yeah, and uh, you get fantastic photos. A lot of them ended up on your Instagram. Yeah. It's like, it's a must do. You can't miss the parade (laughs) if you go to Disneyland Paris. If you feel like you can't do the character meets, this is a perfect opportunity. Yeah, to see them all. To see the characters. The dragon is a highlight Mm. as well. And every time we're hoping we just get that perfect view to get the ideal shot of the fire. fire. Yeah. (laughs) So cool. And there's also lots of different places that you can watch the parade from. So if you're there for multiple days, you could like switch it up. Yeah. Maybe one day watch it on Main Street, one day watch it at the end, one day like watch it right at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it's a great thing to uh, witness. And in at number one. Drum roll, please. It's got to be Disney Illuminations, the fireworks in the evening. This is my favourite thing to do ever, really, <laughs> at Disney, is to watch the fireworks. It's just so magical. Yeah. Um, so at the moment at Disneyland Paris, it is Disney Illuminations, which is amazing because they incorporate both the fireworks and also projections onto the castle. 
on the projections onto the castle, as well as looking stunning, just epic. Yeah. And cleverly done as well. There's this bit when uh, they're going to introduce the Lion King and Mickey Mouse just keeps closing this door mm-hmm. when it's doing the uh, the intro to Circle of Life. That's yeah. one of my favourite bits. <laughs> and also the Pirates of the Caribbean bit yeah. with the fire. Mm-hmm. So cool. Um, there's also lots of different spots that you can watch the fireworks from. And also our favourite thing to do, which we've mentioned all the time, but so you're probably sick to death of us saying it, but if you can ride Big Thunder Mountain as the fireworks go off, it is amazing. Perfect experience. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> we've managed to do it quite a few times now, and if you time it right, it's just so good. Yeah. So the fireworks are always on just before the park closes, so if you just check your brochure, um, it will tell you what time the fireworks will be on. And you just, yeah, at least one of your nights of your trip, you have, you to. have to see it. Yeah. We always tend to see it early on, and then we always like to see it at the end, don't yeah, we? Yeah, to say bye. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bonus. As you're leaving after the fireworks as well at Disneyland Paris, <laughs> Mickey actually comes out and says bye. Yeah. If you leave it about five minutes, so don't rush out as soon as the fireworks end. If you hang back for about five, ten minutes... Mm-hmm. He will come out just by where the railroad is on, at the start of Main Street as you're walking out, if that makes sense. Yeah. Comes out onto the balcony and waves to everyone and says <laughs> bye. And it's just such a magical ending to your day. Uh, yeah, we'll insert a little clip of He says him he's so bye. sorry to have to say goodbye and the day's finished and <laughs> hopes you come back again soon. Yeah. And if it's your last night, you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is our top 10 things to do at Disneyland Paris that aren't rides. I hope that gives you some ideas if it's your first time going and also shows you that there's so much to do at Disneyland Paris um, if you're not a fan of rides. Yeah, or if some people in your party are and while they're going on the rides, you want to do something else. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you next time with a brand new video. Please like and subscribe and yeah, thanks so much for you, all your continued support yeah. and all your comments. Mm-hmm. So we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.